I'm the uh, All Black assistant coach. I uh, did a, a marketing degree at Waikato and uh, worked for TVNZ and the marketing side for five or six years and then you know, as a marketing consultant. First and foremost, my role on this team is, is a, as a selector. Once we pick the team, I'm the, I'm the back coach and I work with Steve on the attack plan. We've effectively got three areas. We've got a, a coaching group, um, which, which I head up. We've got a logistics group, which Shandy heads up, and we've got a, um, a player wellbeing group, and we just make sure that the groups are connected and, we're, and our overall strategy and vision and direction is going in the right area. First and foremost, when it comes to our players, we, we fundamentally believe that every player is a leader. The power comes in, in the whole group feeling like they've got a key role to play in the bigger picture. And, um, and so I think the whole concept of positional power, of people telling you to do something because they're on the next rung up is gone in terms of being a major influence in business. We want everyone collectively putting all their energy into finding the right solution. So making sure that that, that that layer or that positional power concept doesn't inhibit, that's a big part of how we operate. There is only one captain on the field. But the model that we work with is that, that that doesn't mean there's one person with all the good ideas or the answers. We know that he doesn't see everything. So we work hard at developing a leadership group around him, and if they believe strongly that they've got a solution for a problem that's happening in the game, he'll go with that person. It's a trust, and, and the way the trust comes is through building relationships on a daily basis. Sometimes saying nothing if we're not sure is the right answer, and, and then thinking about it and then coming back with a good decision. And sure, we may lose a little bit in the interim, and that actually happens in business and war, isn't it? Sometimes you, you get smacked and you're not sure where to go, and so you've got to put up with a little bit of short-term loss. If you look at skill levels and skill execution in a rugby game, the difference between a good team and a bad team is probably about 3% statistically. So you look in business, the difference between a good business and a business that struggles is probably that sort of small margins as well. So what's the difference? Well, what makes up that 3%? And, um, and I fundamentally believe it's having a group of people that believe in something and they just go charge out and they just don't hesitate and they just act and do. We feel incredible responsibility to our legacy. We feel incredible responsibility to what our team in Jersey mean to our country. And, and so we, we want to keep chasing that, that next level by lifting our eyes off, off that horizon and putting it up to that horizon and trying to raise up and say, well, we want to be dominant. And that fuels us to go to a place that probably we, we haven't gone to before. And that's our mindset.